The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Doris. I'm going to cover the YM first, and then we're going to switch over to something really exciting, and that is Christmas corn, December corn, for our good friend up there in Washington, Mr. MB. Now, you'll notice the double, the triple ABCDs we had up here at this level. There was the 382 yesterday, folks. You can see that it broke down. I'll cover the 382s on the others in just a moment, but we need to get on with our good friend MB and talk to him about Christmas corn. And if anybody is full of corn, you got to be MB himself. God bless you, Marshall. Hold on a second. I can't find it. Here it is. Here's Christmas corn. Getting it up here right now. And it should be making new lows as we speak here. Pretty close. This is the hourly. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to switch down to the daily because we have going to be a buyer. of. Oh, you have to love this. Oh, this is why I use CQG. All right. Here's what I'm looking at, Marshall. This is where we're at, 468, okay? I want to get it down to 464, and we got a really good chance to get there. Now, this is a four-hour chart, so it's covering, you know, several weeks in here. So we're going we're gonna to get there. There's your 1.618 expansion. We've got others that are coming in here that are moved. I must be doing something wrong because people are warning me about something. I don't know. But there's your number, buying it around 465. And I, I don't even think you have to risk 20 cents, but I'll put a 20 cent stop just to be just to be safe. But look what it's got. Here's a weekly range. OK, the 1.618 expansion of that weekly range is at 464, Marshall. So you want to buy it around 465. Uh, you could put a stop at 455 and you'll be fine because I don't think it's going to get much below there. And if it does, you don't want it anyway. So instead of being a farmer for a thousand dollars. You know, be a farmer for 500 bucks. So cancel this, stop here at 445 and put it at 455. I'm, we're still trying to buy uh, July soybeans and we haven't been able to get them bought. Uh, they're still six cents higher than where we wanted to buy them. So that's what we're watching. This is uh, going to be very soon because we're right here at 686. You see, you're only talking here about a very small amount you're only talking about five cents in corn <laughs> once we take out these stops the people are going to say it has no bottom and that's what we'll be looking at right in here so let's uh, keep our powder dry and wait for 465 and buy a lot of it because this is one of the times folks we're stop and think of the farmer L let me show you the weekly chart on this folks just just a year ago he was getting six dollars for his corn now it's zero. This is bad tick. I can't help that because I'm using a different data source for just a time. But there it was at six dollars. Now here we are at four fifty, and nobody wants it. Remember wheat at thirteen dollars? Everybody had it. Everybody had to have it. When it's at five dollars, nobody wanted it. That's all part of the game that they play, boys and girls. Okay, now let's move on here to something that'll be exciting for us all. And that is exciting enough, but we'll move on to something else. Those of you that follow me with uh, some of this stuff for a long time, uh, you, you you have to watch this because even myself I, I am surprised because look at this. This is the NASDAQ, folks. I'm not going to show you all the patterns, but there's the first 382 retracement right here to the exact tick, folks. I had this set wrong from the very beginning. got to move it down. It hit the exact tick at 11792. It's now... 120, uh, no, it's 100, 110, 110 handles lower than that right there from the 382. Now that's that is the that is the Nasdaq. All right, if you don't believe me on everything, then we're going to look at everything. Then we're going to take a look at the stop and P if I can find it, and here it is. We're going to get this up here, and we're going to get up to the uh, I guess it'd be a 13 minute will tell us, and that's what we want to be watching. You'll get this up here like that. Here's the range today from uh, the uh, big hap big happening that was going on. And then we had the big break and the rally back from the high down to your low. One tick. 
above the 382 retrace it. That's 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 that one. Okay, uh, then we have another one, which was the uh, we got it. Did we do the Russell? Oh God. <laughs> I, I, I tell you some folks, sometimes this stuff just absolutely makes me unbelievable. All right, I, I, I haven't done the Russell, but let's just check the Russell. I don't trade that very often, and uh, we'll get it up here to see if it did the 382. So we'll do a 20-minute on the Russell, and it had a big break. Um, but, well, don't see any 382 here yet, but let's just move it over just a tiny bit. And uh, there's not a 382 in here. I can see that's a little higher. And from this, oh, this didn't even come close to a 38. Oh, my golly. <laughs> Shut the, oh, it's drawn wrong. Hold on. It, it, it's off by a little bit. Let's, let's be realistic, okay? Yeah, this was no good. See, it missed it by, uh, missed it by one tick. Got to pay attention to those 382. Uh, some people I could never get involved with looking at it, but boy, it's a it's a big one for fast changing markets. Here were the here's where the real problem was, folks. Today it wasn't the this uh, thing with the uh, CPI stuff, folks. You, if you think the Federal Reserve doesn't play games with this stuff, while they were doing you baiting you all during this time was oh yeah this. Uh, the bond market was telling you, no, that's not what's happening. Watch what the bond market was telling you, folks. And the bond market says we wanted to go lower. Remember looking at this on the weekly chart? We said this does not look good, and now you see why it doesn't look good. And that was the key. You remember the, what was that movie with uh, um, Jerry Maguire? Remember Tom Cruise and uh, Cuba Gooding, and he said uh, – Follow the money, and by golly, that's uh, that's what they want. Go where the money is, and that's what you want to be doing. They certainly did that in the Super Bowl. Okay, now we want to look at the next one here. This is one that we wanted to sell, but we never got a chance to do it. We were trying to sell the 382 right here. Okay, now we had to make a new or lower low now, so we've got a new 382. That'll be coming in here tomorrow probably. That'll be into a gap area, so you want to watch – Live cattle tomorrow, 185.82. Okay, that's going to be real interesting to look at. All right. Now, the next one we were looking at today uh, was a good one. I'm going to go to the bad one in just a minute. Well, it ain't bad yet, but it will be soon. Hold on a second. Here is the, uh, get that four, I think it was an hourly chart. Yeah, there was the hourly chart. There was a 382. Sell that. Stop should go above the 618. And you can see what happened here. It just went boom, just straight down. Those are the kind you like to see. They don't always work that way, but sometimes they do, and uh, that's what you look for. See how important the 618 was? It missed it by, by 20 cents, so your stop would have been above here. Uh, it, it, at the worst thing, you, would, it, you, know, you wouldn't have lost any money on this, even if you handled it wrong, in, in my opinion. But, you know, like I say, my opinions are wrong quite a bit. And then the one that's given us the headache and that, well, it's not much of a headache, but let's get it up here anyway. And that is the uh, crude oil because we had a sell in the crude oil and uh, just missed our stop so far, but it will get it. I'm pretty sure. There was our number. You see our 786, we were selling at 77.60. We risk a buck. So the stop is uh, 77.60. It got to uh, 77.49. And it hasn't stopped us out yet, but odds are it's going to get us here uh, pretty soon. But we still have to stop working. That's what stops are for. Keep her from making mistakes. Okay, we'll take a break. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Educating investors. 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, I want to switch over here and talk about the euro here because we had a really nice trade set up here. Let's do the hourly because that's what we were watching. Uh, you'll notice that this, is, uh, this was the pattern that we were looking at right here. Now, I said uh, several times in the uh, video that I sent out twice. I sent one last night, early this morning. I said, you must have your stop right here. Because uh, you get below there, there's it's going to break this beautiful one three five pattern. Look at the look at the rally right, right after the report that somebody construed it as being bullish, and uh, believe me, the euro market is a huge market, so this is not uh, small. There's a perfect seven eight six. Well, that's why I like these numbers so much, folks. There, you know, you you look at other things. Yeah, well, maybe they work, maybe they don't. But you know, these things are just unbelievable. Now we've broken down big time here in the euro so something really big has happened here as we look at this on the you see there's where our stop was that's where we bought at 107.40 we're now at, uh, 10 pips below that but unfortunately um, we had a little bit of a profit in here I was worried about it because we were here one two three four five six days and couldn't get any higher than this that, that's what was so scary but it could have gone either way and now it's broken down it, it tells us that most probably the euro in, in, is going down and the U.S. dollar uh, is going up. And that certainly isn't bullish to gold. And that's why the gold uh, broke so much. Now, I've had a question here this morning uh, about silver. Let me get this up here. Mike Moore will be our guest here today with the technical difficulties uh, uh, not happening. And we'll see here with the silver for just one second. We'll get the old silver right up here. And we're going to start out with the daily. And see where we are right here with the daily and you can see we've had a pretty big reversal here uh, in, it looks like it duped this day no it must be two days yeah it is two days in a row I'll be darn 12th and 13th almost the same highs and lows uh, in fact it hasn't taken this low out is really surprising because the, uh, the, the gold certainly has and that uh, we're gonna find out whether it's gonna hold folks here's the one that you really want to pay really close attention to okay this is the one if you can buy silver down here at around $0.19 cents an ounce, $19 an ounce, which is the 61% retracement of the low way back here, okay, if you can buy that there, that is what I would think would be – there's your double top. You can see that. You can see the market's coming down. 
Uh, I don't know if this ABCD is going to be correct or not, but most probably we're going to get to this level. We hit the 618 perfect now. So if we can get it down about $3, I, don't, I know you don't think it could happen, but it can. And if you do get it down here at 1930, around 19, anything under 19 cents, just buy it and put it away because that's going to be something that is uh, pretty good. I've been through these bull markets in silver and gold. Each time they've hit, uh, you know, $55 an ounce. And the next time it goes above $55 an ounce, it'll go to $100 an ounce. And the reason for that is they are running out of supply of silver. There's only so much of it on this planet. With more and more people, uh, they're going to be using it. So I hate to bring the supply and demand in, but that's a nice pattern down there if we can get to it. So that's the other thing. Now, I had another question today. Uh, about wheat and I haven't been following wheat at all because of all the other things we've been following but let's get over here and take a quick look here uh, at the wheat market we'll start out with uh, we should be doing May wheat now folks because the March well I still have March on the board so we're going to use March wheat and it starts with a W at least a huge two and there it is there's the daily chart let's see if it hit any see it's just in a trading range it's doing very very little you can see here, if you like ABCDs, and I certainly do, there's your uh, ABCD pattern right here. Then we have the nice rally, and then we have multiple ABCDs down here. And look, we, we, haven't, we haven't broken out. We're in a real tight trading range. So what you need to do is to go down to a four-hour chart and see if it's clear. And sure it is. There it is. Just clean this up a little bit, and we're going to look at it. You'll see there's going to be your 786, high to low. Oh, almost to the exact penny. And look at these lower highs in here, folks. Now, that is what you call a trend line, okay? Look at this. This is a trend line. Just put it there. Just about as perfect as you can possibly get. When you break above this, that's about 606, that market's probably going to take off because you've got a lot of supply coming in here, supply coming in here, supply coming in here. All you did today, look at this. All you did today is make a perfect A, B, C, D again. Let's go to the 60 minute and you'll be able to see it again. Hold on one second. Let's blow it up a little bit. And here will be your, there's your A. Uh-oh, I tell you what right now, it is going to be off by just a hair. I've seen so many of these, I can tell you right now that it misses it by quite a bit. See, there's what would be breaking, there's would be your breakout, but you didn't make the A, B, C, D on this run. All you did was go up and match the 786. That's all you did. You went right up to that 786, never closed above it, and uh, now you're now you're heading down. So we still got one more chance uh, at the wheat, but we're going to be waiting on that. We the corn is really clear. I showed uh, Marshall that, and it really is a clear buy, a really good buy, folks. A friendly hello and a good buy to buy Christmas corn at uh, 454. Uh, excuse me, 455 and put a 10 cent stop on it. Um, I have been in this trading this business actively since well, my first trade was 59, but heck, I was just a freshman in college then. But by, by the time I was a senior in college, I was trading a lot. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've not been through a year where we don't have one or two, you know, uh, crop scares. And both climate change the way it is, you know, with... Uh, of course, there's not any climate change right now because with snow coming into New York, they're closing, even closing the racetracks along with all the schools today in New York. But anyway, there's going to be one or two crop scares. Plus, there might be some demand things that bring it in, too, because corn is getting really cheap at uh, 450 You know, remember, it was $6 a year and a half ago, and everybody wanted it. Now it's four and a half. Nobody wants it. Well, I have some good news for you, folks. In about a minute and a half, there's going to be a break. And then we're going to have Mr. Crude Oil, our Bob, and Heating Oil himself is going to be coming on and telling us what's going on with that market because it is one powerful puppy. That'll be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and he's been bullish crude for quite some time, and we're going to see where it goes from here. So I think that's it. Let's double check how we're doing with the time. Oh, I got a whole minute and 29 seconds. All right, let's ask the next question, and someone ask about Mr. Appel. They always like Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Here's the daily. All it's done today, folks, is make a 61% retracement, just eyeballing it. There it is right here. From your low to your high should be pretty much uh, 
spot on. It misses it by uh, how much did it miss it by? 183. Miss it by 10 cents. 61 percent retracement. So still bullish. You know you've got you know you're still bullish from way back here. You do have some lower tops in here for the first time, and you got some lower bottoms in here. So it's a little suspect at this level. So there's still a chance this could roll over. Uh, slight chance because everybody wants to be buying this stuff and it keeps going higher and higher and higher and higher. So we'll do one thing at a time as we go through. So now we got a break coming up. Stay tuned for Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Uh, on Friday, I believe we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest again. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics uh, in his lovely office. It looks just like mine except for the leather couches and leather chairs and books. <laughs> but it looks really cool. Tell us what you're looking at, Mike. You've been really bullish. The, the uh, uh, gasoline and also the gasoline is going crazy today. And, of course, of course, the crude oil has been going up, too. So tell us uh, what you're looking at. What are the next levels and things? Okay. You want to take a look at crude first? or 
That'll start out with crude. We'll go on one at a time and take your time because we might have a question or two as we go through. So, Okay, just a general picture on the crude here. We've been in this corrective um, stage here basically since December 12th. As you remember, we completed this full bullish structure here, and now we're in a bullish corrective or or this could be considered trending, but I think it's more overlapping and corrective in nature, even though we're in a fifth stretch of this split. <clears throat> Today was kind of key. We took out a final exhaustion level. Let me just bring it up to date here. The trade back above 72.45, more than decent strength likely for days. If you remember on our last show, I said once we broke back above this line right here, that this would warrant for strength for days, possibly weeks. We've been rallying pretty nicely out of there for five dollars and thirty-nine cents, and then another piece of that today. Um, I said I've been warned a final possible exhaustion at seventy-seven, seventy-six to seventy-nine. Settlement above here increases the likelihood of a run for seventy-nine twenty-nine. You can see that we held that twice right here with a seventy-seven seventy-nine high, and again here seventy-seven uh, seventy-nine again pulled back, but now we've taken that out. So that's a sign of uh, continued strength. I think we're likely going to head up here to test 7929, probably higher. I would be very cautious of this area right here from 7960 to 8012. That would be a higher and lower time frame exhaustion level. If we were to hold that and roll that over, that could start this in a new bearish structure. And then above there, we'll have other levels above that too, but that's the immediate one we're looking at right now. Any questions on that? Or you want me to move no, to that, Gap? No, that's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, pretty good. I mean, it's been going up, and you've been following it, so that's perfect. So basically, the I'm just going to do an overview real quick here. I mean, basically, the RBOT here or unleaded gas is a very similar structure uh, and structure against it, and the same thing with the heating oil. This similar structure and structure against it. But just drilling down, so I'm not going to go over those again because I went over that in crude. However, the gas has rallied up here and is holding this exhaustion level right now. That here, see, so in gas, we've been bullish since uh, holding exhaustion below at uh, 197.94. We rallied 40.56 cents, and then another piece of that today. And then I said, look for possible exhaustion in the 241.36 to 328 area. We're holding that right now with the 241.36 high, I believe, or 241.34 high. So if we were to hold that and fail back down through these highs again and settle back down below here, that could start this in a new bearish structure. Otherwise, if, you, if we take this area out, I think we're headed higher to this upper levels. But the other, the other point is if we really settle above this 243.28 area, that suggests that the market has a, light, a higher likelihood of actually heading back up to 255.11, uh, regardless of possibly holding this exhaustion level on the way up. Mm -hmm. Mike, we have, yeah. uh, Mike, we have a question about that chart, and that is a uh, gentleman's asking, what are those, uh, the uh, things, on the, the three um, indicators that you have there? There's three levels of indicators that you have, look like oscillators or something at the bottom there. What are those that you're looking at, Mike? What Are those proprietary? Yeah, we, Can you tell us what those are? No, I'll be honest with you, I rarely use these. I mean, they just have them down there, but, you know, one of them down here is just a MACD, and the other one's a stochastic indicator. Okay. But, you know, if you're going to use those type of things to help you uh, time trades, you can often uh, change the, uh, the the parameters around them. I happen to like an 8, 3, and 3 instead of a 9, 5, and a 3. But you really got to adjust those and, and see how okay. they fit in the time frame of what you're trading. Okay. But to the point, I rarely use those in my own analysis. They just happen to be down there. And then the heating oil uh, has gone up here. We failed back down through this line. So that is bearish for the heating oil, although immediately we broke back above here, and that's bringing in very short-term, short covering. The heating oil here, I said, um, we held exhaustion at 247.40, rallied, rallied 49.95 cents. And then I'd said here that I get short on a break below 293.92. That was this line right here. We rolled back over, but then I said um, – if we break below 289.80 to 59 and back above, look for short coverage. So we've seen some of that immediate short coverage, but that's just a short-term thing. Now that we're back below this line, that's bearish. So if this starts to capitulate and roll over with the unleaded here holding this exhaustion level and with the crude oil 
holding the level, uh, and if that rolls over, um, then we can see this head lower. But right now it's kind of, mm -hmm. it's got to show its hand one way or the other. Either, either heating oil is really going to roll over and the rest of this stuff roll over, or the strength that the crude oil has shown by settling up, uh, by breaking back above here may see some, may see some higher levels before eventually rolling over. Mm -hmm. Mike, is it very unusual for the heating oil to be uh, this week in the middle of a cold winter? Yeah, like you said, that's why I strictly go with technicals because they often give you a heads up to what these things are doing before anything else. This heating oil and this heat crack was really leading the charge to the upside. So, you you know, we've been bullish this since, and if you look at the past uh, shows I've done with you, Larry, but just in the past five days, you would have made over $6,500 more being long on the heating oil per lot than you would have accrued. But I did say that if we take this level out uh, here, we'd probably see some pressure come in. So we're starting to see that. And we did hold this key exhaustion level up in here, uh, just picked above it a little bit. So this might be starting into a bearish correction itself, which means that the heat would be weak relative to the crude or the crude strong relative to the heating oil. And um, the, un the unleaded gas crack has also been strong start showing an additional strength in here today. And one final thing I'll show you here is the RBOB to heat spread. That held this key exhaustion level right here on that green line here at 62.81 with the 63.10 low. And then I said to get long above this line. And this line here further projects us upward over 1,000 ticks. So I think that the RBOB is going to stay strong relative to the heat or the heat weak relative to the RBOB, meaning that if this market comes off, the heat's probably going to come off harder than the RBOB. Okay. Okay. That makes great sense. Wow. Now, tell us, tell, tell us what you think. What is the best uh, crack spread that you have on right now? Which one is acting the best? Long gasoline, short heating oil? Right in here, this is the strongest thing. I think I'd rather be long the RBOB and, sh and short the heat. That's the, the spread between the two. But on the cracks, I think that this heating crack is going to look weak right now. I think this has a good likelihood of coming off. We held exhaustion above up here. It's a full bull structure, uh, likely a full bull structure completion here. It's a, I don't have a really, you know, if it gapped open lower, it'd be even, even weaker. Um, okay. Oh, hey, one other I question. Don't, I, don't a, I don't have a great answer on that one for you. No, that's a, you, hey, I don't have a great answer on many things. I do have a question for one of our listeners. Back a couple of years ago when we got to minus in crude oil, we're going to take a break here, pay a few bills. I have a question about that minus crude oil. A couple of years ago, Mike, if you might not have an answer for that either, but we can ask the question. Hey, we'll be right back, folks, with Mike Moore of More Analytics. Stay tuned. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. Mike, pick a market and tell us what you're looking at, my friend. You cover a lot of them and would like to hear what you have to say. Well, you said you had a question on the um, – Yes, on the crude oil that day that it went minus $27 because the guy couldn't have any place to put the oil and stuff. Uh, right. Did you know those people that in Singapore that were, were doing that? Because I know you have contacts all over the world. I didn't know if you were familiar with what was going on there or not. No, I'm not acutely aware I know I was bearish going all the way down into it, and uh, and that was uh, this was sort of the analysis. I think I showed this on one of your uh, wow those ones before, but these are the calls I made for uh, an American oil company just being bearish down into this. In fact, I've gotten bearish right here um, on the I said a dollar fifty break below forty forty three thirty two. We'll project this downward twenty three dollars minimum, thirty five dollars plus maximum. That was from $43, and that's after we just come off from 65 and we went wow. up being negative. But this is one of the reasons why you were asking me about fundamentals versus technicals. There was no point at any point in the way down here that I said, oh, this is this can't go any lower. This is too cheap, or I think you should buy some here because I stay with the direction of the trend, and that's what keeps you out of trouble. And certainly nobody expected this to go for negative $40. Sure. But it was point it also – Good. It was only the April contract that went negative. The others, the March, are still trading at seven or eight dollars a barrel, right? Correct. And you can yeah. see here on my crude oil analysis, which I've been showing on the show here, on 4.29.20, we left the bullish reversal below. We've seen 115 dollars and 13 cents from that open at 15.37 in the July. So in that very following contract, I'd gotten bullish on April 29th, uh, just a number of days later after this. And that's why I've updated this sentence every day since April of 2020 on my analysis because this is a larger long-term call. Very good. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next one that you have, my friend. How about gold? Okay. Do you want to look at natural gas at all or no? Just go straight oh, to gold. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. I've got a note here. It was the second one right after gold. So natural gas is first. Okay, natural gas first? Okay. Yes. So natural gas uh, continues to dump. Uh, just keeps coming off. It's sitting right now at a key exhaustion level. Let me just pull this one up here. I'm sorry. Right around here, I talked about this morning around uh, 167 to 166.60. It's broken below it slightly to 165.40, but that's barely a penetration for such a significant exhaustion level. Ooh. Let me just pull my uh, chart back up. But it, I'm sorry, I lost something here. Is this a spot natural, uh, Mike? Is this spot natural gas march? Yes. Okay, thank you. That that's okay. an interesting. I got a. I see something that I like there. Okay, so that's a possibility. If we hold that, uh, could start another bullish um, correction. But we've been bearish since eight twenty eighty. We've seen over six dollars and forty seven cents to the downside on that. And then more recently, if you remember on earlier shows, I said if we break back down below. 301.80 solidly, there's a good possibility of a run for 209.80 minus. 
um, and we've seen uh, dollar twenty dollar twenty at that so far, a little bit more today. So still bearish. These exhaustion levels are just possible areas you can take shots on getting long, or wait to see if you see a bullish, small bullish correct um, formation down here. But we're holding this right now. The next one down below it is not down to one thirty five eighty. Want to take a look at the uh, gold? Uh, yes, sir. Let's take a look at the gold and the silver too, if you if you have silver also. I don't have silver. I don't really normally analyze. Gold, the gold is fine. Gold is fine. We already covered silver on the other part of the show, but take a look at the gold. That's great. Gold, That's. Gold, a, we got a real hammering down below all this consolidation right here. Not a good sign for the gold. Uh, I think this could be the the next uh, stretch down. Get this out here. Sorry. Whoop. Sorry about that. You can see my climbing background. Um, here we go. We held exhaustion above at 2081.80 with a 20 high and rolled over 57.8. We've seen more of that today. Today was key because we had broken above a formation right here and then failed right back down through it, which got us bearish right on the break back down below this line and really seen this move down. Just as a higher time frame note, I said note the December highs warned we likely put in a top in the market for the time being and are likely in a macro bearish correction against the move up from 10.45.40 in 2015. If so, the minimum target would be 16.91.90. Okay. That would still have a long ways to go. It sure does. Like would you like to look at the S and P's? Do you have any questions on that? S and P for sure, absolutely. And then also, if you have Treasury bonds, we would like to take a look at the bonds too. I don't really analyze the bonds. That, then that's okay. Then I won't ask that question again. I know your right. specialty is the your energy complex, and I saw something in that natural gas that. Uh, Actually, uh, you did ask me about the bonds before. I, I pulled that chart up, but I can see if I can pull that up again. Uh, so the S and P uh, rallied up in here and just held this exhaustion level right here at. Uh, 50, 6350 to 50, 70, 50 with a 50, 60, high and started rolling over. We took out this formation right here, really brought in some pressure. And now we're resting right above a another significant formation. This is the better, probably the better drawn of it. That comes in at 49.6690 as of 130. And that moves up 47 per hour starting. That moves up 47 per hour. Let me just bring this back over here. Okay, and I warned we're likely in the last stretch of the structure up from 3502 upward with areas of possible exhaustion up here, okay? If one of those holds and this enters into a bearish correction, it should exceed 512 points from the high, which would still give this a lot of downside. I warned in the post-market synopsis that this went out warning of pressure on the day before resuming higher trades, so we're seeing some of that pressure today. Um... Here I said that the trade below here warrants a pressure, and then the trade below this one, 46 per hour, will also project this downward to 110 points plus. So a break below here would project that downward to 110 plus and possibly uh, start this into something more significant. Also, the fact that we've left the maintain gap will likely leave a maintain gap lower today, leaves a minor bearish reversal above. Okay, uh, we have a question from Jeff in New Jersey. He he wants a question about what will it take for crude oil to be bearish. Uh, uh, Jeff, are you well, on the not, line? Um, not exactly. <laughs> okay, go in? ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Mike. I, I just wanted to ask. I looked at the crude oil uh, futures uh, term structure, and it looks very steeply bearish for many many months. Uh, well, I was curious if if you knew why uh, you know oil would be so bearish. Over long term. When you, say, when you say the term structure, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Sure. Um, well, if you looked at uh, like a chart of every month going forward, like into 2025, 2026, if you look uh, at every uh, futures contract and where it's currently trading, it's down every month. It's down. Um, it's down for like a couple of years. Okay. Well, I mean, just saying. I haven't had a chance to take a look at that yet. In the past few, it says that we normally have a, a long bias between January 10th and April 14th, or January 10th and March 6th. You're saying after that it rolls over a bit? Yeah, for like the next uh, year and a half, two years. Uh, if, wow. if you look at every month in a futures contract, it's lower than the previous month. Okay. Okay. 
Jeff, I'm going to check that out too. That doesn't sound right. I think you're talking about backwardation, Jeff, but I'll, let me double check that, okay? And uh, I'll, I'll, I will find out. Uh, thanks for joining us, Mike. We'll have you on again soon, okay? Very soon. Okay, yep. Sounds good. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. Mike Moore, folks, more analytics. We'll be right Did back. 877. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I saw a chart that uh, Mike brought up, that natural gas. I could see that big ABCD from last October. Remember, the stocks were bottoming right here as, as natural gas was topping. But let's just measure to see how the old ABCD worked during this market. We had a high up here, and then we had the low in here, and it measured up to 3443, and it got to 3462. Uh, so it missed it by $20, and it started down. There's your first 382 retracement right here. And then there's your second one right here. Then you come down and you go through a 382 retracement here and you explode all the way up to the 78% level. This is where we are now. I can't finish this today, but we're going to finish it soon. Probably in a video tonight uh, sending out because we're getting close. We're already past the ABCD by quite a bit because we're past the 127. That tells us that this CD leg, because of this gap, Let's just check and see if this was a 382 just for kicks and giggles. There's your high. There's your low. Oh, we miss it by <laughs> miss it by one dollar, folks. And that sets up another A B C D that is in there also. There's your A B leg coming down here. C D oh, we're getting close. Here we are, boys and girls. 
we got to get ready to buy this stuff here really quickly. Um, not today, but soon. We're at 165.70 has been the low. Uh, yeah, that that the 1.618. Boy, this is a low risk. It's trading at 167.30 right now. Boy, I'd put a, let, let me look at this on a eight minute chart just for the heck of it with my. Yeah, there's your low down in here. <laughs> I'd almost buy this and put a two dollar stop on it. Honest, I would just because of that, just because of that one point six one eight number right there on the money. I, I've got to buy it because that's only a two dollar risk. Uh, you know, I can watch fish swim in a pond for two dollars. So I'm going to put a buy here at uh, sixty seven forty, and I'm going to put a sell at uh, sixty five forty. Sixty five forty be, be a new low on the day, so I'm not going to risk anything other than two bucks. Hey, let's be back tomorrow. Don't miss anything. We're going to have Stan Harley in here pretty soon this week. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.